I'm heading to New York. Hello 我第一次看见有人让我戴头套 Okay, yeah, I think I'll, I'll get this one Oh, you want to wear it? It looks great on you. Thank you. Yeah. It's not cold enough yet, but yeah. I'm, I live in Canada, so I kind of need something oh, like that. This is ideal for you. Yeah. You could pack like this. All right, thank, thank you. you. Have, Have a great night. Bye-bye. Maya, first day, I'm going to go. Our first stop was Crossroads Trading. There are a few locations in New York, and this is the Midtown location. I came with a mission, okay? I was looking for a shearling coat. <laughs> we stumbled upon a super cool flea market, which turned out to be the iconic Chelsea Flea, New York's only all antiques and vintage market. I saw lots of beautiful wool coats, leather jackets, and vintage fur coats, although I don't wear real fur due to ethical reasons. I just gotta say, the sheer options available there were overwhelming. Buffalo Exchange is just across the block from the flea market. They also have several locations. This one is huge. However, despite being spoiled for choices, we didn't end up finding anything we were looking for here. Another multi-location store, 2nd Street, is just down the road. They have a good mixture of high and low. I found this vintage black leather coat, but since I already own two leather coats and a faux fur coat that looks just like it, I decided to put it back on the rack. Tea break. New York Vintage is probably my personal favorite. It's a high-end vintage store, and of course, the prices are on the high end too. This Alexander McQueen coat features zippers that can be worn in three different lengths, but it's way over my budget. This black shearling coat is beautiful too, but again, it's pretty pricey, and I have way too many black coats already. Aside from the price tag, everything in this store is absolutely gorgeous. The collection, the decor, the cat, ugh, it's literal perfection. Next, we left the Chelsea area and headed down towards Greenwich Village. So Beacon's Closet is another one of my favorites. I think we stayed here the longest, well, partly because of the lineup, but it was worth it because I finally found a shielding coat that was closest to what I was looking for. But unfortunately, it was kind of damaged. I also found this coat that I really liked. It's so warm and cozy. Okay, I know it's black, but it has some beautiful patterns on the leather. The only thing is, it's way too big on me. It's like I stole my mom's coat. Initially, I thought this coat would be a winner, but when I put it on, something just didn't look right. And then I realized what it was. I looked like I stole Mrs. Claus's coat. Just imagine it being red. Now you can't unsee it. Next, we headed east towards East Village. A lot of secondhand stores are located in this area. 
L Train Vintage is a famous vintage store frequented by celebrities, so we wanted to see what it was all about. I gotta say, I wasn't disappointed by the options, but again, we didn't find anything we were looking for. We were also pretty exhausted at this point. Since Vintage Reserve is kind of close by, we decided to hop in there too. As soon as I walked in, I saw this black and white jacket and immediately fell in love with it. It's not made of shearling, but it's black and white, which is also something I'm in the market for. I was so close to getting it, but then I realized there was some problem with the zipper. It took me a good minute to zip it up. Ding, this jacket fell on my head. Because I usually wear this jacket, but I don't wear this zipper. So I'm not really happy. It's mainly because New York has no zipper. Yeah, Canada doesn't wear zippers. I had a really good time in Toronto. I love the city. Kaching, but not what I bought. Kaching. Our last stop for the day is Tokyo Seven, another famous vintage store. It is said to resemble secondhand shopping in Japan, and it lived up to the expectations. They've got a really cool collection that's obviously been carefully curated. But we were so pooped by the end of it, we literally hit ten stores in one day. Today, it's strong, but it's very expensive. I, strong expensive, this is not mine. 但是大家猜猜我在花了多少钱？多少？一百块，一百块钱 challenge accepted。Gloria zero dollar challenge accepted zero buy。昨晚终于睡了一个好觉，我来买 melatonin 吧，希望今晚能睡个好觉。In case you didn't know, I'm a big fan of the Real Real. I got most of my secondhand pieces on their website from the comfort of my own home, and I would go check out their Soho location every time I visit New York. This was my first time in the Madison location. I found this super cute Louisville jacket in black and white. It was hands down my favorite one so far. But it's Louisville, so obviously it came with a price tag, and it was way over my budget. But here's a little fashion show in the dressing room for ya. The second street in the Upper East Side location is a lot bigger than the Chelsea location, with a very similar layout. I found a black and white shearling coat, but it was so big on me that it looked like my arm was falling off. I guess with my sizing, I would be better off buying secondhand online. I today again found a jacket. Good. Catching. We're now going from the Upper East Side. 一路去到 Greenwich Village。最后一站是 Nada， 是我很喜欢的一个羊绒牌子。我昨天就穿了他们家的毛衣。The last store we went to was not a secondhand store. Nada is one of my favorite brands to buy cashmere from. They used to ship to Canada, but now the shipping fee outside of the U.S. is pretty expensive. So instead of paying that shipping fee, I just ship myself to their store instead. Do you have a extra small for this? Extra large, opposite. Extra large. And one last one is large. Oh no! I today is zero buy. Hello, Hello. Hi. I'm back from New York with my package from New York. Fuck, I'm nervous. Would you look at that? I found this secondhand rag and bone little blazer from the Real Real right before I left for New York. This is not sponsored. Anyways, I had to order it before anyone else snatched it. Oh, actually, this is a good example of what would make me decide to buy something. Even for secondhand items, I prefer them to look new. 
this jacket is still in excellent condition. I prefer natural materials because they are more durable. This jacket is made of 100% lamb leather. Buying leather secondhand is also a more ethical option. The clothes have to fit well. For example, the shoulders on this jacket fit me perfectly. It needs to fit my budget. $440 seems like a fair price for a genuine leather jacket. I actually have a wish list of exactly what I want. Oh, the glare. I'm not sure if you can see it. Anyways, I have been looking for a leather blazer for two years. So when I see it, I know it's the one. Honestly, I found most of my secondhand pieces online, but I still enjoy going out and exploring secondhand stores. If I come across something, it's a bonus. If not, I'm not gonna force myself to buy anything. The process is more important than the result. If anything, it's always a fun memory to share with a friend.